Moving into the Applications section, we have the Uninstaller, Updater, and Extensions Manager. The Uninstaller is a great Clean My Mac feature. In here, we can fully remove apps that we no longer need. This is going to list all the applications installed on your Mac. Notice Google Chrome here. Click the Turndown Triangle, and we can see that the application file itself is only part of what Chrome has saved on the Mac. If I were to remove just the Google Chrome application file by dragging it to the trash from the finder, only this single file is going to be deleted. Within Clean My Mac, we can remove the application file, its preference files, supporting files, and more all at once. In the case of Chrome, its supporting files take up a lot more data than the application file alone, so removing all of these when deleting the app will have an extra benefit. When the app is selected here, next to its name, we can choose to uninstall the app completely or reset the app. Choosing Reset will leave the application file, or binary, but it's still going to remove most, if not all, the preferences and support files. This returns the app to the state it was in when first installed. This can be a good troubleshooting measure if you're unable to open an app or if it's not loading correctly. Notice that Clean My Mac organizes the installed applications on the Mac into certain categories over in this column. Unused will show apps that haven't been opened in over six months. This can be a good place to start if you need to clean up some hard drive space. We can sort the apps by name or by file size over here. Select Leftovers and we're presented with related files of apps that have already been deleted or replaced with a newer version of the app. I should be able to delete all these leftover files without causing a problem. Here in the 32-bit section, we have apps that are no longer going to work in the next version of macOS after macOS Mojave. Mojave is the final version of macOS that is going to be able to run 32-bit apps. This includes Microsoft Office 2011 and several other apps that I have installed. If you have any apps in here that you rely on, you're going to need to find an alternative before upgrading to the next version of macOS in the fall of 2019. Below we can see where the apps were acquired from. The Mac App Store, Set App, or Other, which means the app was most likely downloaded from its own website. We're also able to view apps by vendor. Once the apps that you want to remove are selected, just click the Uninstall button, and the apps and all their supporting files are deleted.